Hey everyone, Peter Hocker, Product Manager at PDFTron here. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at some of the improvements we've made to WebViewer's measurement functionality as part of our 8.5 release. Now, our PDF measurement toolset was already reasonably robust. Nevertheless, we wanted to add some more polish to improve the overall experience. In this release, the collection of improvements include upgrading of how we handle object snaps, measurement of angles and arcs, We've improved the overall experience when measuring highly detailed drawings, as well as improving measurement precision. All right, let's jump in. All right, we've got a version of WebViewer 8.5 loaded up here, and I'll go to the Measure tab at the top. This is where all of our measurement annotations live. For quite some time now, WebViewer has had object snaps. So that's the ability to snap a measurement annotation to vector content in a PDF, such as an endpoint or a midpoint. However, the experience wasn't always intuitive, as the UI did not communicate the type of point the user would snap to. However, with WebViewer 8.5, we now show a visual indication of the nearest object snap, so you can quickly select the point you want. We designed these indications to look like those you'd find in a standard CAD program. Let me zoom in and I can show you what I mean. If I select one of my tools here, then you'll see that uh, you get a square for an endpoint, a circle to show you a point online, and a triangle to show you a midpoint. You also get an X to show an intersection between two points. These new indications work across all of our standard measurement tools, and as we're in SDK, you can customize the indicators to your user's preference. You can edit the activation threshold, or how far away you need to be before the indicator shows up, the indicator size, and the color, all by API. Another common request that we've heard loud and clear was the ability to measure curved lines. But now with the new arc measurement tool, you can. The arc tool lets you measure using three different clicks. First, you choose your start point, then you choose a midpoint, and then you choose your endpoint. Not only do you get the arc length, which you can see shown down at the bottom here on this arc measurement card, but you also get the arc radius and the center angle as well. Looks like I should have set my scale before I measured this though. As you've seen, the arc measurement tool works those new visual snap indications, just like all our other standard measurement tools. Coming back to the distance measurement tool, this tool is probably the most used measurement feature in our tool set. And given how popular it is, we wanted to pay particular attention to it in this release. The first change that we made is the addition of lead lines by default. These make the distance measurement stand off from the content you're measuring. So you can always see what is underneath. We also added a new handle in the middle here, so you can adjust the lead line length depending on whatever content you're measuring to make it a little more useful. This new to handle also has a second important use. It allows you to adjust the placement of the measurement caption. Moving this caption is especially useful for small measurements where there often isn't enough space to show the caption inside the measurement line like I'm able to do with this larger measurement. You can click and drag the caption and move it to the left to the center, to the right, depending on the use and what your particular measurement needs. And you can configure the default by API. We've also added the ability to change the stroke below one point. This is especially useful when you're measuring something on a, on a large detail drawing where a stroke of one might be too high. And we can go all the way down to 0 0.1 now, or type in an exact number, too, if that's more useful to you. OK, that's a wrap on everything I wanted to cover for this release. WebRay 8.5 is available today and doesn't require any trial or license key. You can download it off NPM, and we have a link in the description down below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please go ahead and post them, and we'd be, love to get back to you. Thanks for watching, and see you all next month.